I've been away from the studio for about six years. So the album is called Ratiri, Who We Are. It mainly focuses on the black woman and the struggles that the black woman goes through. It's about me as a black woman, as the pigment of my skin, uh, the curves of my body, which the world have in a way made me to apologize for, to feel like it's not okay to be a black woman. You have to use chemicals to, to bleach your skin. It's as if it's not okay to have curves. When you look at all magazines, you're, you're looking at skinny women as if that's the epitome of beauty. So I took on a journey and I said, look, wait a minute. It's beautiful to be a black person. It's beautiful to be a, a round figured woman. A woman is okay for you to be an African woman. Ratir is also about building young women. It's about making the young women come to the forefront and be part of the processes, be part of opportunities. And so we address issues of violence, we address issues of gender-based violence, issues of opportunities, leadership even, and also just creating safe spaces for the girls. So Cry is a track that you recorded with Mbira legend Chiwaniso Maraire just a few months before her death in 2013. Right. The, the song talks about girl children and their vulnerability to issues of rape and abuse. It, the song actually seeks to highlight uh, the circumstances at which children, especially girls, are exposed uh, to abuse. And so I thought that the song needed someone to also kind of help me, you know, express the message. And I approached Chioniso and I said, hey, I've got this song that I've done. And she, I mean, she was excited about it and she came on board and she sang on the song. It was beautiful. So we did it, yeah, so a couple of months before she died. You would never think that she was going to die. Yeah. Is this a battle that uh, is being won in Zimbabwe, the fight against uh, abuse and rape? This battle has not been won. But the, one of the strides that has come out of it is that um, the people are now talking about it openly. It's no longer a stigma that people can't talk about. So you'd find that even in the rural communities that the, the women and the communities actually advocate for, for cases of abuse to be reported. So though there is still a struggle, you find some just shove them under the carpet. They don't talk about them. But many people are now talking about it. And whereas majority of people used to blame the victim, we're seeing less and less of that happening. You are blessed with wealth. Why do you beg? I challenge you to occupy your inheritance, but look after your own, to build a legacy, to live beyond present. I challenge you. I included a poem on the album entitled Africa. It talks about the issues of, of accountability, the issues of governance, or the issues of poverty. And it questions why Africa still remains poor. Why do we have people suffering? So it questions Africans, African leaders and young people to rise up and take their places and, uh, and exercise good governance, which will prevent poverty, which will prevent women and girls suffering and, and, and promotes accountability. This album raises a lot of issues, a lot of crucial issues affecting right. uh, young girls and women. What do you hope to achieve from your work? This album is an epitome of who I am as an activist, as a human rights defender. I get to get a, a lot of spaces to speak. And sometimes we know that revolutions have been won through music. This album should assist people uh, to understand the African context. But also, it, I realize it comes with engaging with bodies like the United Nations, African Union. So I, I want to see myself having a voice in such platforms even more and more so that we push the agenda of girls and young women's uh, rights. But ultimately, what we are looking at is for peaceable communities that are well developing. Because this is just not because I care about girls. I care about humanity. I care about women and men to live thriving to live better developing themselves in their communities and we know when girls and women are advanced and a better place for opportunities we know that it amounts to better development for their homes for their children and for the for the fathers and for the community and communities begin to live more in harmony yeah. 